Here's an in-depth guide on how to make rope out of coconut husk fibers. Materials needed. 1. Coconut husks. The outer fibrous layer of coconut husks. 2. Knife or machete. To extract and process the fibers. 3. Water. To soak and soften the fibers. Optional. 4. Wooden board or flat surface. To work on and separate the fibers. 5. Weight or tension device optional to stretch and tighten the rope during twisting step-by-step -step process extracting and preparing the fibers a begin by removing the outer green or brown husk of the coconut separate the husk from the hard shell by hitting it against a hard surface or prying it with the knife b once the husk is removed you'll find a layer of coarse fibers attached to the inner side Peel or scrape these fibers away from the husk using the knife or your fingers. Try to obtain long, continuous strands of fiber. Circa if the fibers are dry and stiff, you can soak them in water for a few hours or overnight to soften them. This step is optional but can make the fibers more pliable and easier to work with. D. Lay the fibers on a flat surface, such as a wooden board, and use your fingers or a blunt object to straighten and remove any debris or knots from the fibers. This will ensure a smooth and even rope. Twisting the fibers. A. Take a few strands of fibers, approximately 2 to 3 feet, 60 to 90 centimeters, in length, and hold them tightly at one end. B. Twist the fibers in one direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, to create tension and form a twisted strand. The tighter the twist, the stronger the resulting rope will be. Circa as you twist, be mindful of keeping the tension consistent and applying pressure evenly along the length of the fibers. D. Continue twisting until the strand feels tight and cohesive. If any fibers break, you can add more strands to the working end and continue twisting to create a continuous rope. Adding and joining fibers. A. As you reach the end of the first set of fibers, Overlap them with new strands to create a seamless transition and ensure the rope remains strong. B. Hold the overlapped ends firmly and continue twisting, incorporating the new strands with the existing ones. Circa repeat this process, gradually adding more fibers as needed, until you achieve the desired length of the rope. Securing the ends. A. Once you've reached the desired length, secure the ends of the rope by tying a knot or using a suitable binding method. This will prevent the rope from unraveling. B. If you prefer a more polished look, you can use a whipping technique to wrap the ends of the rope with additional fibers or cordage. Stretching and tightening, optional, A. If you have access to a weight or tension device, you can attach it to both ends of the rope and allow it to hang freely for a period of time. B. This process of stretching and tightening the rope can improve its strength and durability. With these detailed steps, you can create a sturdy rope from coconut husk fibers. Remember that practice and experimentation will help you refine your technique. Coconut husk rope is a versatile and natural material that can be used for various purposes in a survival or crafting scenario.